Jesus. Standing for Jesus Ministries. Stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna stand up and praise his name. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. Oh, I'm so glad he died for me. And now thanks to him, I've been set free. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. Stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna stand up and praise his name. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. And now let us hear the word of God. Standing for Jesus Ministries is brought to you in part by the following. McDowell Professional Pharmacy. Call 377-1088. We'd like to welcome you back to Standing for Jesus Ministries. We thank God for another opportunity to come into your home, maybe say something that might be a blessing to you. And we got uh, Brother Doug Taggart's going to minister to you in song. And Lord willing, next week or somewhere down the line, maybe we're going to have him come and preach for us too. Uh, anyway, here's Brother Doug ministering in song for us. Her parents never took a young girl to church, never told of his name, never taught her his word. Two numbered believers walking lost in this world. Took the baby with them, what a sad little girl. Her daddy drank all day and mommy did drugs. Never wanted to play or give kisses and hugs. She'd watch the TV and sit on the couch while her mom fell asleep and her daddy went out. And the drinking and the fighting just got worse every time behind the couch she be hiding what a sad little life like it always does the bad just got worse with every slap and every curse Till one night her daddy hit a drunken rage Put a gun on her mom And then took his life Then some people from a city Put the girl far away To a new mom and a new dad Kisses and hugs every day First day of Sunday school, the teacher walked in. A small little girl started a picture of him. She said, I know that man up there on that cross. I don't know his name, but I know he got on. Because he was there in my old house. He held me close by his side. As I hid there behind her cow, that night that my parents died. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Like the prodigal son, I wandered in darkness. I traded my life for worldly good times. No peace in my heart I never could find. But I got so tired eating after the swine. And I 
I believe I'll go home and eat with the Father. The table is spread and waiting for me. I can see my Father coming down to greet me. Lord, I'm willing to be just a servant for thee. Like the prodigal son, I've drifted from Jesus. But the good shepherd saw through the heat and the cold, the ninety and nine. Find his lost sheep that's hungry and cold. And I believe I'll go home and eat with the Father. The table is spread and waiting for me. I can see my Father coming down. Lord, I'm willing to be just a servant for thee. Yes, I'm willing to be just a servant for thee. Welcome back. Welcome back again. We thank God for our brother and the songs that he sung. And we just thank God for another day of life. And, Amen. You know, as we get ready for program, as the way we always do, it seems like we study on different things and sometimes don't really know which way to go. But God's going to lead us. But we know that, I just got to thinking that we know we're living in a world today that is so sinful that man's attitude, Brother Doug, is that they call good evil and evil good. I mean, there's no standard anymore for what's right and wrong in this world. Yeah. People don't set no standard, which God set the standard, but it seemed like, you know, we're in this election and all this stuff, you know, and the election's over with, and whether things get better or whether things don't, you know, God is still in control. People's got to realize that, that it seems like people want the blessings in the world today, Brother Doug, but they want to leave God out of it. And when I read the word of God, when God was always put first, the blessings always followed. Right. Right. So, and by thinking along that line this week, when I studied, I got thinking about the sinful nature, a nation of man. And uh, in 1 Corinthians, in the 15th chapter, about the 45th verse, talks about the first man, Adam. How he was made flesh. And until he sinned in the garden, he knew no evil. He knew nothing that was wrong. But by the one disobedient, he he become to realize that he was naked. Not only naked in the flesh, but he become naked and destitute of his relationship that he once had with God. Amen? Amen. And well, I'm just going to read the scripture here in just a moment. It says, And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. And the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. How about he was not the first which is spiritual, but that which is natural. And afterwards that which is spiritual. The first man is also earthly. Of the earth, earthly. The second man is the Lord from heaven. And as it is earthly, such are they also that are earthly. And as it is heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of of the earthly, we shall also. Here's here's our payday. Oh, that's coming one day after a while. Amen. Amen. If we have borne the image of the earthly, we also shall bear the image of the heavenly. You see, I'm gonna stop right there. And we know that we're living today in this old body and stuff that that's capable of sin. But I don't know. I I'm so thankful. Sometimes it seems like I've failed the Lord so many times. 
And I'm so thankful that, listen, there's none of us perfect, but I'm telling you what, we know where to take it to. Jesus said he was the only way, the only name given whereby man can be saved. Listen, my God, when he saves you, he just don't leave you uh, there alone. He's with you there all the way. Uh, listen, through every trial and trouble, uh, everything that might come against you. Uh, and I want you to know, my friend, the Bible says it rains upon the just and the unjust. Uh, uh, listen, the difference is God's children has got somebody uh, uh, there to see them through every step right. of the way, uh, uh, everything that comes against them. Uh, uh, listen, who's the world God? Uh, uh, the devil ain't going to give you no help. Uh, He's just going to push you on down. Uh, listen, now when we think of the first man that was made flesh, uh, listen now, uh, God knows there had to be an atonement somewhere down the line. Uh, listen, uh, because he required. Uh, listen, the Bible says without the shedding of blood, there'd be no remission of sin. Uh, listen, we begin to think. Uh, listen, as we read this scripture, uh, listen that uh, one day after a while, uh, listen, Jesus said that he'd gone away to prepare a place for us. Uh, uh, listen, he said, if I go away, I'll come again. Uh, uh, that means to me, uh, according to this scripture that we just read right here, that one day after a while, uh, uh, this old body that feels the pain uh, in everything that we go through now one day uh, is going to be like unto his body, Brother Doug, uh, and we're going to be living heavenly. Uh, uh, listen, this old mortal of us put on immortality, amen. Uh, uh, listen, and when it does, uh, uh, listen, it's going to be worth every tear that's ever been shed. Uh, uh, listen, it's going to be worth every trial, Christian can you ever go through? Uh, uh, listen, I know. Uh, uh, listen, that the Christians uh, uh, take a beating this day and time. Uh, uh, listen, we're just a bunch of fanatics. Uh, uh, you know something? Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, we need to be like that. Uh, we need to let the world know, hey, uh, uh, you don't want nothing to do with Jesus. Uh, uh, that's all right. Uh, but don't criticize him. Don't talk about him. Uh, uh, listen, don't put my brother and sisters down uh, uh, because, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, God has prepared a place for us there. Uh, and one day after a while, it's going to be our home. Uh, uh, listen, that's the kind of attitude uh, uh, we need to have. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I want you to know he died for the sins of the whole world. Uh, uh, not just for a couple little three people, uh, a little handful of people, uh, uh, not of this race or that race. Uh, uh, listen, but he died, uh, uh, my friends, for the sins of the whole world. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I want you to know uh, uh, that just like Adam, uh, uh, listen, uh, he was born, uh, uh, listen, uh, of the flesh, uh, uh, Jesus, Bible saying God took upon himself uh, a fleshly body. Uh, uh, listen, in Jesus Christ, his son, uh, and he came and died. Uh, uh, listen, into this old world uh, as a newborn baby. Uh, and even then, uh, uh, Satan tried to kill him. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, even then, uh, old Herod heard about this. Uh, uh, listen, and he told these men that were seeking the baby Jesus, uh, uh, when you find him, uh, you bring us word uh, uh, that we might go and worship him too, uh, having every intention of killing him uh, uh, because he was king in Israel. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, but I want you to know, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, the attempt fell then. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, Brother Doug, uh, uh, because uh, uh, the angel talked to Joseph uh, and said, take the mother and the child and flee into Egypt. Uh, uh, listen, I want you to know, uh, uh, listen, the devil fell then. Uh, uh, listen, but there was a time, uh, uh, listen, that he was preaching. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and the Bible says uh, uh, that they went, uh, uh, that they would have killed him and pushed him over a cliff, Brother Doug, but he escaped from right. again uh, uh, because it wasn't his time. Uh, and there was a time and he began to tell disciples. He said, your time is always, but my time is not yet. You don't know when you're going to leave this old world. Listen is what he was telling his disciples, and that's what he tells us today. Brother Doug, we don't know when we're going to leave this old world. Listen, death is just a waiting on us out there. Listen, but he knows the time that he had come for. Listen, he got to the point. Listen where he told them. Listen, he said he had to prepare. You know, he anything uh, that you prepare for. Uh, uh, listen, when they would prepare for a sacrifice, uh, they had rituals that they did. Uh, uh -huh. uh, listen, when they prepare for a sacrifice, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, so Jesus told them, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, one time a woman uh, uh, come in to anoint his feet. Uh, uh, listen, which uh, I believe the Bible calls it spotting art, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and they begin to talk about it. Uh, and thus says she did this for my burial. Uh, uh, listen, they were the preparation time for the burial. Uh, uh, listen, but I 
want you to know uh, there was also preparation uh, in an anointed time. Uh, uh, listen, that he would come forth out of that grave. Uh, and listen, uh, make no mistake about it, Brother Dove, there is an appointed time. Uh, and Amen. preparations is being made right now uh, uh, that he's going to come back uh, after the church. Uh, he's going to come back after them that have been watching and waiting. Uh, uh, listen, uh, waiting for that. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, well, what do you what are you waiting for? Uh, listen, uh, I'm waiting for those skies to roll back. Uh, the scripture says, uh, uh, listen, uh, and the Bible says that if I endure to the end, uh, you know what's going to happen? Uh, unless the grave takes me first, uh, uh, listen, the Bible says them that sleep in the ground will rise first. Uh, and then them that are alive and remain shall be called up uh, to meet the Lord in the air. Uh, uh, listen, I want to tell you something. Uh, uh, listen, I don't believe it can be long. Uh, listen, uh, there's a lot of doctrines out out there being taught today. Uh, the people, uh, listen, telling you, uh, listen, that you're all right with this, uh, that this religion is okay. Uh, or listen, uh, uh, there's many religions, uh, uh, there's many gods. Uh, even Jesus said himself, uh, who of your poets you say there are many gods. Uh, uh, listen, but I want you to know, uh, Jesus said, I came of the Father. Uh, uh, listen, those that hear me will hear the Father. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, listen, those that hear the Father hear my voice. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and he went on to say, uh, that my children uh, uh, listen uh, they know my voice uh, and a stranger they will not follow uh, uh, listen uh, uh, there's people today that claim uh, uh, to be a Christian uh, uh, but deny the word of God uh, and I'm telling you my friend uh, if we don't stand on the word of God uh, you're going to fall for every trick that the devil has uh, uh, listen uh, uh, Jesus said my people do err not knowing the scriptures uh, amen uh, uh, do you know it all preacher no I don't know it all uh, uh, but I do know that I know enough that when I accepted him that I know he's mine and I'm his and I'm on a journey right now my friend that one day after a while he's going to come back and take me home I just got to endure Christian you got to endure just a little bit longer listen you got to hold in there and not give up the fight the Bible says he that takes a hold of the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom of heaven listen what I want to tell you something we was never fit from the start uh, listen, uh, I want you to know we were never fit from the start. Uh, you know what made you and I fit? Uh, the precious blood of Jesus. Uh, uh, Brother Doug is what made us fit uh, when he shed that blood. Uh, uh, listen, when he come down in that old fleshly uh, uh, body. Uh, uh, listen, he come down in the fleshly body. Uh, uh, listen, I want you to know every strike of that hammer, Brother Doug, he felt. Uh, uh, listen, uh, but the Bible says like a lamb led to the slaughter, he never opened his mouth. Uh, I believe he felt every time. Uh, when they blindfolded him and smacked him and said, prophesy, who hit us? He knowed who hit him. Yeah. Listen, he knowed who was going to do it before it even happened. Yeah. Listen, what I want you to know through everything he went through, he hung on that cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. Listen, I want you to know a lot of people don't know what they're doing today when they reject Jesus. The Bible says, how shall we escape if we neglect so great of salvation? <laughs> Remember, he came to this earth as a baby. He rose up. Listen, he began to preach. I believe the scripture says at 30 years old, Brother Doug, uh, listen, preached three and a half years. Uh, they were men that walked with him. Uh, listen, his disciples talked with him. Uh, they ate with him. Uh, listen, uh, they lived with him all that time and saw all these great miracles. Uh, listen, but they sit around the dinner table one time. Uh, listen, wore it to, uh, listen, to Passover feast. Uh, listen, I believe it was, Brother Doug. Uh, listen, and he began to talk to them. And he said, one of you will betray me. Uh, listen, and they said, not I, Lord, is it I? Is it I? Uh, listen, but he said, all oh, you will lose faith. And uh, listen, a lot of people today uh, are losing faith uh, because they're worried about the things that's coming upon the world. Uh, the Bible even speaks, Brother Doug, uh, one place it says that men's hearts fell in them uh, for fear of things that's coming upon this world. Uh, uh, listen, but I want you to know uh, uh, God didn't give us the spirit of fear. Uh, uh, listen, but he gave us a power. Uh, uh, listen, to tread on serpents. Uh, he gave us power. The uh, Bible says if you eat any deadly thing, uh, it'll not hurt you. Uh, a preacher, uh, 
Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, I'm talking about this right here. Uh, listen, if you'll be rooted and grounded in the Word of God, uh, eat the Word of God. Uh, listen, uh, any other false doctor comes, it can't hurt you because you know the truth. Uh, and right. the truth will set you free. <laughs> Amen. Uh, listen, there's a lot of false doctrines out there. Uh, listen, but I want you to know Jesus is the only way. He was then, He is now, and He will be forevermore. Amen. Uh, but when He comes back, He's coming back after a particular people. He's not coming back after people play in church. Right. He's not coming back after people uh, that wants to get in church. Uh, he's coming back. It ain't got nothing to do uh, with having your name on a book somewhere. Uh, but it has to do uh, with you knowing Jesus Amen. as your personal Savior. Right. Unless you accepted him above all others. Uh, too many times we look to the preachers and we look to the organizations. But you got to look past the preacher's head. You got to look past the organization's head and you look to the head of the church, which is Jesus Christ. For in him only is there salvation. Amen. Uh, listen, uh, people today think that we're uh, some kind of uh, religious nuts or something. I'm going to tell you something. It's got nothing to do with religion. Uh, listen, we preached this before, Doug, and I know I use it a lot, uh, but it's true. A man could go and wait society set up today. He could go and draw a picture on an old tree and go and get him some license and call it a religion. Hey, Amen. That's the way it is. Uh, listen, but true religion, the Bible said it's to visit the uh, widows and the fatherless in their afflictions. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and I use this a lot. Who is the fatherless? Them that don't know Jesus. Them that don't know God. Them that has never accepted Jesus into their life. That is the fatherless of this land. Uh, uh, listen, uh, the widows of this land, who are they? Uh, uh, listen, well, we know when we talk about the natural widows, uh, how we're supposed to do with them, we understand that. Uh, uh, listen, uh, but a lot of people, uh, uh, listen, you want to talk about divorce in a spiritual sense. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, lots of times uh, uh, we're trying to, we, uh, we're getting away from God. Uh, our nation has got away from God. Uh, amen. Right. We're back to winter. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, listen, uh, we want to say, uh, uh, listen, everything we want in life, we want, uh, uh, listen, but God, we don't want. Uh, listen, well, I got news for you. Uh, listen, he's still God whether you want him. Uh, he's still God whether you believe it. Uh, he's still God whether you accept it. Uh, uh, listen, but I want you to know uh, that they are teaching in this land that everybody serves God in their own way. Uh, every religion and stuff does. That's not true. That's not true. Oh, you better watch it, preacher. Again, you want you ain't allowed to mention nothing against another religion. I'm not preaching another religion, and I'm not talking about another religion. I just want to tell you that Jesus is the only way. That's right, Amen. I don't care what you call yourself, but listen, if, if God's not the center of your life, he needs to be. Yes, Amen. God has to come. Uh, this is a hard, this is hard for a lot of people to take. Uh, listen, a lot of people don't realize God has to come before your wife, before your kids. Well, no, no, now, preacher, God wants us to take care of our family. Absolutely. The more you love God, I guarantee the better you'll love your family. Right, man. Amen. I guarantee that. But you know something? The Bible says that one of these days, they're going to call our peace and safety. What's going on today? Mm -hmm. All we've got to have peace. You're not going to see peace in this land, nor will you see peace in your heart without Amen. Jesus. Right. It's a peace that surpasses all understanding. I'm telling you, you don't know what it is. I, I can't sit and tell you, no other preacher can't sit and explain to you how good it is when God comes in your heart. Oh, we can sit and testify and tell you everything in the world. It ain't going to do a bit of good. But when you experience it yourself, you realize what's going on. I'm telling you, Brother Doug, remember, he came in the flesh and allowed himself to be nailed to an old rugged tree. But when he comes this time, ah, uh, he's coming back as Lord of Lords and King of Kings. The Bible says he's coming back to gather them. One time, he's going to send his angels to gather, and he's going to read them. Man, you think the world's bad now, my friend? There's a lot of people sitting trying to teach you. Wait till 
There's a lot of people trying to teach you what to do after the rapture. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I'm not that smart a man in the scripture. But I do know the word of God says that now is the time. Today is the day of salvation. If you can't, if you think you can't live it now, what makes you think you can live it after that? With a lot more trouble. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Because regardless of what a lot of people teach you, it says it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. God shut that door on that ark. And regardless of what a lot of people teach you, if it happened then and he's comparing that to the end, then it's going to be shut sometime. Right now. That's scary, Brother Doug. It is. That's scary. But you know something? Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow might be the very day we stand before God. He's either going to say, welcome in, or depart from me. It's your choice, my friend. That's what this program is about. But I want you to listen to this. I'm going to read one more scripture here. It's in the same chapter. I'm skipping on down to about verse 9. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. God wants to save you from not only things to come. God wants to save you because he loves you. God wants to save you because that's what his son came and died for. I believe, Brother Doug, if it was just one or two people, he would have still done it. If that's what the Father's will was. You think about this. You think the world's bad right now, and you ain't seen nothing of what's going to come upon this world. And you know something? Bible even goes on to talk in a lot of things that when Antichrist comes and all this, that even the elect can be deceived. If it were possible. You understand what I'm saying? If it were possible. You don't want to be deceived by this world system. Read the Bible. Understand the Word of God. If you've got this Word hid in your heart and you let God teach you, you'll not be deceived. I believe that with all my heart. Ones that will be deceived will be them that will allow it. Listen, don't be deceived. If the devil's telling you right now that uh, I've tried to live the life before and I can't live it, don't let him, he's just keep trying to deceive you right now. Oh, you're young. You don't, you got time to live. You got, you know, he'll tell you every excuse in the world, Brother Doug. He will. will. He'll tell you every excuse in the world. He'll try to deceive you on every point. He might even say, oh, he might even be putting in your mind, listen, that little feller on TV and everything. Go <laughs> crazy nuts. But you know something? God said he chose the foolishness of preaching to save them that are lost. It is the preaching of the cross. It is Jesus going and dying on that old rugged cross that opened the door for you and I to have salvation. And I'm telling you, my friend, I hope and pray that we've said something that would help you, something that would encourage you to accept God in your life. And I tell you what, if you did, we would like to hear from you. We really would. No, not for a pat on the back, but that we could give God <coughs> glory and honor for it. Amen. Amen. That's what it's all about. Listen, we've got... Our, we got prayer line, two different numbers on there, on the screen. Listen, you need prayer and stuff, call in. And we do our very best as soon as we get them things to pray over, and we pray over them for every program. And listen, we hope and pray that we'd help you in everything. And next week, we're going to try to have uh, Brother Doug on the program to preach for us. So be sure and tune in. God bless you. Amen. Fell my face like a river.